Hello everybody, today I'm here with some more Disney Melee Mania and today we're going to be finishing the Maleficent event. I didn't do one at the beginning because I've been thinking about this for a while and the future of the Melee Mania series really rests in your guys' hands here. If you want any more of it, you gotta say so now, otherwise this may be the last video on the game. I've kept up with it since it released, um, but it's never been all that popular. And I'm kind of getting sick of it, but if you guys are interested enough, obviously I will continue to play. It's really up to you. I'd be happy to keep playing, but if there's no interest in it, I think it's fair to say that we should be done. So uh, this might be the end, but for now we're going to be showcasing the few costumes that Maleficent has, including the purple costume, the two-tone costume, and finally the monochrome costume, which will be re rewarded to us by defeating the event. So let's get started here by going in. I've showcased every character so far other than Moana, I think. And I suppose it would have been the best opportunity to do so at the beginning of this Maleficent event, but I really just wasn't feeling it at that time. And decided to just wait until the end of this here to showcase the Maleficent stuff. But yeah, it's almost been more of a hassle to record this than anything because I spend like two weeks just playing the game for like a half an hour a day. And it gets to be a lot. And when the game plays pretty much the same every time. And the missions are really annoying. It's, it's hard to me feel motivated for it, but I'm a person that does not give up. So I've been doing it over and over. But I, I really do think that people aren't interested in it that much anymore, which is why I'm suggesting this. I'm sure I'll get like one or two people that will say like, I like the series, but I'm guessing also I just won't get very many comments whatsoever. Or I will get comments, but they're on like a different game entirely, which means to me that nobody cares. So that's that. But we'll see. I could be completely wrong. I don't know how many people need to say something for me, like, for me to be, or for me to consider not doing so, but, anyways, let's actually talk about the Maleficent stuff here. Uh, I don't know if these costumes are based on something specific, or if they're just well, costumes that they made up, because I don't remember seeing, like, a purple version of her ever. I could definitely be wrong, though. And then like the monochrome one, I don't know, maybe that happened in like Kingdom Hearts or something? <laughs> I, I, don't, I really don't know, but I really don't want this orb. My only mission is to kill opponents, so I don't really need to even score. Which is again, such a, the stupidest part about the, the missions, for sure. I think it was better to just have it as win three games, as it was originally. Even if that is a bit boring, I don't want the orb, dang it. But sometimes now you get missions like play seven games, and it's just like, I don't need to do that. I literally just turn it on and then I go and do something else and wait for the match to be over. Because I don't need to actually play the game for that long. And it's really hard to feel motivated to even waste my time doing that, but... It also isn't that big of a deal, honestly. Because, like I said, I just go and do other stuff while I'm waiting. Did I kill her at the end there? I'm not sure. I'm guessing I did not get enough kills in that one round, but I did go pretty quick, so hopefully it'll be fine and we'll get everything for that final costume in just two rounds here. But let's switch out to the second costume, which was, I already forget, two-tone, right? Yeah. So we equip that one, and then we'll also change the trail to, I like the Goons one, that's pretty cool. I actually like a lot of Maleficent's trails here, and she has quite a bit of them. I think the one I had, the Goon Party, is my favorite, but this one's pretty good too. Let's go in again with the new costume. 
Lovesent was my main at one point until they nerfed her. Uh, and I've been playing Frozone ever since then. But yeah, if I, I'm done, I'm done, I guess. I was going to say, if any interesting characters ever get added, I suppose I could do that. Because there was a good amount of views on the, the Malin Lee stuff when she originally came out. So maybe when there's some hype for new characters, I can do it. But also, I really don't expect this game to live on for too much longer. I'm pretty sure that I already have Ursula done, so I'd imagine at least Ursula would come out. But I don't know. I can't imagine too many people still play this game, if I'm being honest. I don't know what that number would be, but I can't imagine it's very high, because it's only on Apple Arcade, which already is limiting its audience from the get-go. And it does not offer very many different things for people to be invested in it. It generally feels like there can only be like a, maybe a hundred people playing this game. Like, it, it is... I would not be surprised if I'm literally the only person playing this game currently. Like, at this time. Obviously other people are playing it, but... I mean, right at this second, I bet I'm the only person playing it. Or at least I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Because I bet very few people do it on a daily basis, but obviously when new people check out Apple Arcade and they're like, oh I like Disney, I'll check it out. They might get a player every now and then, but I can't imagine it's ever too long term. I don't know. It, it, it is sad to see mobile games die out, but it's just a thing that happens. And you know with Disney Heroes being going on four years now and Disney Sorcerer's Arena on 3. You know, those games don't have too much longer either. Most li mobile games don't even last that long, so it's pretty impressive. Every day I'm surprised that Disney Heroes is still going, if I'm being honest. Because Disney is not shy to cancel something if it's not... It doesn't make sense to continue anymore. And like, they don't get events like the rest of the games do. Even with the Lightyear stuff, we saw Sorcerer's Arena got showcased. But Disney Heroes was out of the loop, and it has been for a long time. Which is, I would imagine, probably a pretty bad sign. But, I obviously still really like it. And tons of other people too, but I don't know if it'll be enough to keep it going for five years, but... That'd be cool. I have not gotten like barely any kills this round. This is not great for trying to get that final costume. We could really use at least one more kill here just to bring that number up. I'm just too weak now. I don't know. Buzz is decimating me at every instance. Hopefully I got both of those kills. I don't know if I did. It looked like I could have, but not sure. Did we get enough for the costume? We're about to find out. Uh... Oh, I did. Okay, great. I honestly wasn't sure. I wonder how close it was. But it doesn't matter. So here's the monochrome one, fully unlocked here. So the Sleep My Little One event has finished. I kind of like the monochrome one. I don't know if, or sorry, the two-tone one. I don't know if I'm going to like the monochrome one as much. But it does look a little different. Well, I suppose it matches up with the uh, purple one. And then these two, well, the original one kind of looks like its own thing a little bit. But most of them are pretty much the same. Yeah, Monochrome's kind of boring. I kind of like the two-tone one a little bit better. If you know what any of these are based on, I'd love to, I'd love to find out, because I don't know personally. So the final one, let's just do the Spindles Curse. So this potentially is the final 
playthrough of Disney Melee Mania that I do on my channel. Or like the final round, I mean. And like I said, if you want to see it and enough people say, hey, I want to see it, then I'll continue it. I certainly don't have a problem with it. But I just think people are probably more interested in other things, so I should focus my attention on those other things instead. Because I've been ne neglecting team showcases recently. I haven't really got to do any uh, of the Sources Arena showcases with my two characters. Which I really need to do. I forget who we, I even last did. Um, I can't remember if I did Snow White or not. I feel like I might have, but I can't remember. But anyways, I've got Eeyore and... Uh, who else came out? I can't even remember now. Oh, Max Goof. And then I'll be getting socks at some point. I don't know if I'll actually get him this round, but I hope I do. But it's probably the event is already over at the time of I'm uploading this. Yeah, I really wanna. I really gotta get that Sources Arena stuff done too. So yeah, I'll just be more time in the week to focus on other things. I've got plenty of games to play right now. The real worries will be like when Disney Heroes ends or something. Then I might have to quit daily uploads if I'm being honest. Well, let's fight. Does the dragon look any different? I don't think so. They should have made the dragon monochrome too. Well, we actually got all of the different modes this time, which is kind of uh, a cool coincidence, I suppose. Doesn't happen too often, but we won the we won all of them we've done so far. The last one was actually pretty close. I never even mentioned that, but this one is not going so great to start out with. But I also haven't been trying too hard, so it should hopefully be a little bit better now that I'm actually going to be capturing. Should be over here unless it's a special. See I have this game like down to a, a beat now, down to a science. Because there's so few things to do. You know it's gonna happen each time it happens. I rarely lose games these days unless I'm not focusing on the main objective because my mission is to just get some crystals or something. Yeah, like I said, it's like a half an hour of my day each day, which is kind of a considerable amount of time considering uh, all the other games that I play, as well as the fact that most of them don't take that long. So it's usually a real hassle to have to put that much time into this one. But like I said, I've been dedicated. I did. I play it every day still. Because that's how I am, but when I say I'm done, then I'm done. Man, I got destroyed by Crowzone and Elsa. I feel like that's probably a pretty good team up. The two freeze powers will probably ruin me. Because one could, if they're like coordinating, one freezes me. And then when I'm unfrozen, if I'm still not dead, then the other one freezes me. And then I'm dead for sure. Especially Crowzone, which actually does damage alongside the... Freeze. Elsa's is straight up just stops you in place, no extra damage. We could really use a special spotlight to speed this up. We got a good amount of kills this time. I don't know why I walked out of the spotlight like that. Whatever. Um, I'm sure most of you guys never actually played this game, but I'm curious, who is your favorite character out of everything? Who is your favorite inclusion? Mine, uh... Maylin Lee is pretty cool. 
She didn't show up in any other game, so it was nice to get her here. But I really only like her just because she is so unique. All the other characters are honestly pretty bland. I really did enjoy playing as Maleficent for a time. That's probably my fondest memory of the game, but... They ruined it, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, she was pretty overpowered. But she's pretty underpowered now, which sucks. I don't know how they could have made it better without doing what they did, but... That doesn't make it any less sad. Oh man. We're about to tie up the game here, but they'll be a little bit ahead. They're one ahead, okay. So this last one is really gonna matter. Oh, there might not even be a last one, they might have just won. We gotta go. It's either gonna be a special spotlight or... It's not even gonna show up. It's messed up, man. Alright, well... It's an underwhelming ending, I suppose, but... At least we got to showcase all of Maleficent's new costumes. And I hope you enjoyed the series. Like I said, I don't really don't expect too much of an outcry about me ending it, but who knows. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.